Next is the story of a man who left Mali seven years ago to seek a better life in Europe. Madala Tunkara is one of thousands of Africans who've used what's known as the Western African Atlantic Route to reach Spain's Canary Islands by boat from countries such as Guinea, Senegal, Morocco and Western Sahara. One Spanish NGO said more than 4,000 Africans died last year attempting to get to the Canaries using this crossing, the highest number ever. Yet, despite the dangers, the numbers keep increasing. Let's hear more from Madala now to find out why he was so determined to take such a risk and how this changed his life and that of the family he left behind. The past years have been challenging for Madala Tunkara. He hopes to one day throw punches in the Olympic boxing ring. But it's a miracle he's alive to pursue that dream. His toughest match to date came out at sea. The Malian was still a teen when he climbed into a fishing boat in the West African country of Mauritania and set off for the Canary Islands. The last day was the worst part of the whole trip. I was inexperienced and simply had no strength left. I was very scared the whole time. But when you're suddenly in an extreme situation like that, your fear disappears. I learned a lot that later helped me in the boxing ring. You have to go beyond your limits and overcome your fears, otherwise you can't win. Madala eventually made it to this small port on the Spanish island of Gran Canaria. It's dotted by abandoned migrant boats. Since his arrival more than seven years ago, migrant numbers here have risen rapidly, and with it the number of people who don't survive the journey. Aid workers estimate 4,000 people died in the past year alone. Madala thinks that is a cautious estimate. Nobody knows how many dead bodies are really floating out at sea. Often people simply run out of food or water or gas. That's how most of them die. They all know the risk, Madala says, but they are willing to take it for their families. Across the sea, 2,000 kilometres away, Madala's relatives follow his every move in Spain. Half of all Malians live in poverty. The pandemic and political crises have compounded their situation. Madala scrapes together as much money as he can through boxing and working in restaurant kitchens. Back home, it pays for the family children's schooling and food. He is vital to our survival. He left to relieve our suffering. Our family has benefited a lot from Madala's journey. We know he works very hard for his money and we know things aren't easy for him where he is right now. Not far from the family home is one of Bamako's bus stations. From here, young Malians like Madala leave every day to seek their fortune in Europe. Some remember him from the time when he lived in their neighbourhood. Yes, we've heard a lot about Madala. He's one of us. We follow everything he does. He's doing a great job, and one day we want to be just like him. Madala has mixed feelings about such statements. He fears many young migrants will not survive the journey. At the same time, he's convinced the numbers of new arrivals on the Canary Islands will this year once again break all records.